Yes, yes, Dak Prescott is the guy. Don't get it twisted and don't get your uh, uh, underpants in a wad. But the Cowboys said they were going to look at quarterbacks in this draft. And they're telling the truth. And it's not just quarterbacks now uh, who are going to be seventh round maybes. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys. This is the fishbowl. That is the star. And inside that building, the phone call has been placed to Zoom meeting for Hendon Hooker, the Tennessee quarterback. SEC alum, just like uh, Dak Prescott, they have that in common. <laughs> and maybe being Cowboys, they might have in common too. Let's be uh, clear about Dak Prescott. There are plenty of NFL teams that would move heaven and earth to have Dak Prescott be their quarterback and have his resume. A couple of Pro Bowls, record of 61 and 36 when he starts, and now, and two, two 12 and fives for the Cowboys, and of course a playoff victory now. But um, keeping America's team up in contention is a challenge, and Dak's been challenged there. And so some people are going to make the connection, not me, some people are going to make the connection. Oh, they're looking at quarterbacks, eh? Therefore, no, no, there's no therefore, but they said they're going to look at quarterbacks, um, and there is sense, there's always sense, to if you can strike gold on a quarterback in whatever round, barring creating some sort of a controversy in the building, there is sense to it. Cooper Rush is the backup here, but uh, our friend Calvin Watkins of the Morning News, first to note that there is a new contender entering the picture at the star, and that is the Tennessee quarterback, Hendon Hooker. Now, I'm going to reiterate, I still think we're talking about uh, TCU Max as the kind of guy that the Cowboys draft in the sixth round. That's what I think. But um, we know there's four quarterbacks that are considered premium in this draft. We know that quarterbacks, once we get closer and course, closer to draft day and draft night, their the opinion of quarterback starts to rise. And maybe that will happen with Hooker. But what they've done here, he doesn't have local ties. I don't know if this is a 30 visit or how this counts, frankly. But day two guy, maybe, Hooker, tore his knee up in November, made 22 starts for Tennessee, um, between Tennessee and then his time at Virginia Tech, uh, 37 career starts, 15 and seven as a starter for the Vols, SEC Offensive Player of the Year in 2022, uh, in his career, 9,000 yards, 80 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, the numbers is good. He's got a dynamic playing style. He's got an electric uh, ability to move. A dual threat guy. That's that's the way uh, he's seen Hooker. Dallas has made it clear that they have the faith in Dak. This doesn't shake that. The 15 interceptions is problematic, but none of this shakes that. Uh, drafting a quarterback, especially one who's not immediately suited, fits here in terms of avoiding the controversy part of this thing because uh, Hooker's got to do some rehab on his knee. That's probably going to affect his draft status. There's other teams that might want to draft... Hooker and say let's let's play him right away maybe that that's not going to happen in Dallas obviously with Dak and it's not going to happen because of the knee situation. Cowboys have the 26th pick, they have the 58th pick, they have the 90th pick, and they have Dak, and they want another guy, and they have just zoomed zoomed to the Tennessee quarterback Hooker. More on uh, what's going on inside the star coming up. Fish at six tonight live. Join us then. Fish heads in Cowboy Nation. Fish out.